Cinema folks, we did something on here a few weeks ago about the price of going to watch a film at cinema now. I think it's extortionate, it's scandalous, it's wrong, they're ripping us off, but what can you do? They've got us by the shorts and curlies. Wouldn't mind if they were releasing film after film after film that was a blockbuster and brilliant movies. They don't anymore. What, six months ago now, was it 12 months ago? Oppenheimer came out. Still haven't watched it. I should do it. I want to see it. I'll enjoy it. And Barbie means nothing to me. It's the last thing in the world I'd watch. Even if I had grandkids, I don't think I'd take them to watch it. No, it means nothing to me at all. But I appreciate there were two blockbusters. And they came out at the same time. You don't get blockbusters anymore. Or you might get one a year. You definitely don't get great films anymore. You might get three or four a year. Something in the paper today. I couldn't believe it. It says, when you consider what's coming out now with the film studios and how bad it's getting, you know, it's all these superheroes and all that crap and regurgitating old films. You struggle on a weekly or monthly basis to get a good release. These films came out, seven films, 50 years ago this week. 50 years ago. Listen to these folks. Seven films. This is how much cinema's changed. Magnum Force, was it the second or third film in the Dirty Harry trilogy that they made four films of in the end? The Wicker Man, that was Ed Wood, 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 along with Britt Eklund, if many memory serves. The Three Musketeers, that might have been the one with Chamberlain and uh, what's his name? Oliver Reed, it might not have been, I've not looked into it. I'm, I'm telling you the, the worst ones first, I'm getting to the best ones, oh yeah, there's better to come, better to come. Then what will we go with next? It's difficult now to pick from the last four. I'll give you three, I'll give you four more. Serpico, that was a belting film, very underrated. Didn't get watched by many. Al Pacino, crack a check of a film. Which we'll go with next. Papillon, was that Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen? I think it was. What a belting film that was. Linda Blair, remember her? You might not have seen her face. Well, you did from time to time, but certain times you was in the back of, the re- of her head. Because it kept revolving in The Exorcist. Linda Blair and The Exorcist with Max von Sydow. See, I know all this. I'm a bit of a film buff. I'm not even reading it. I'm the best of all. I'll leave the best till last. Robert Redford. Paul Newman. Robert Shaw. The Sting. Oh, The Sting. What a film that was. Seven films in one week. It might be one month. I've not read the piece yet. I'll read it later. Say within one month, seven films. What have we got in 12 months? Oppenheimer and something about a doll, Barbie. How bad has it got, folks, eh? How bad has it got? The golden era cinema, they said it wasn't in classes of the golden era. That was supposed to be the 50s and 60s. This was in the 1970s. What films they were? What would you pay to watch them now? I I wouldn't mind having me bum numb for three or four hours watching one of them and paying 50 quid for the pleasure. Because they were worth watching. In them days, you got flicks. Pictures to, to you younger ones. The flicks to us older ones. And you'd get two films. You'd get one of them with a support film. Unbelievable how it's changed. Unbelievable.